What's up everybody, this is Reese here from C-Manga and welcome to my review of Fairy Tale Chapter 469, What I Want to Do. So, not so screwed. You know, it looks like thanks to his Dragon King modes, um, he overexerted himself and now he has the magical, the magical equivalent to cancer. That's right, he has a tumour which is, I think, which I think they spend it as cutting off his magic and it's basically slowly killing him, you know. And what's worse is the fact that the only doctor who can cure him is on another continent somewhere. Luckily for him, now that Brandish is questioning her beliefs, um, that she, uh, she ended up using her magic to basically shrink the tumour, stabilising him for the time being. Now, I kind of have a problem with this, hear me out. Um, if the Doctor basically has to use his magic to cut out the tumour, but Brandish can use her magic to shrink it down to, um, you know, to basically, to sh uh, you know, she can shrink it, couldn't she basically, like, shrink it down to a microscopic level and get rid of it? Or better yet, shrink it down so small that it just basically ceases to exist anymore. You know, kind of like in Ant Man, um, how you know he had to shrink between the molecules to basically do to do what he had to do. Um, couldn't she do something similar like that to the tumor? You know, it's just, it's just a thought, you know. But I think it could work. You know, obviously they're saying like you know Wendy's magic and Shelley's magic, they're not on the they're not powerful enough to be able to do this. Only that Doctor can do it. So I'm guessing it's obviously a specialized type of magic that can um, get rid of it, but. The fact that it can be shrunk by Brandish kind of, you know, isn't out of the realm of possibility that my theory could work. You know, she could shrink it down and it'll just literally cease to exist because it'll be too small. Something like that, you know, or just like shrink it down to the point where it can become benign. I don't know, weird things like that, you know, it's like it makes you think, if they have all this magic, why can't they do things like that? Who knows? It obviously, I'm guessing obviously like, you know, that Tumor has something to do with Zerus dark magic within him, probably from the whole end stuff. Something like, something about end has to be like, you know, blocking off. Um, anyone else being able to properly get rid of dispose of it so other things from this chapter are uh, like I called it last week Lucy is basically going to be going on some sort of quest to obtain Aquarius' key um, I kind of have a feeling that after this arc because obviously I've been saying for the longest time this is the final arc um, it'll basically kind of like be a single chapter time skip basically like to the, at the end of the series where I don't know, Lucy's now probably a mother's age or maybe a bit older and then she's there passing her keys on to her own daughter and I don't know, then in the keychain you'll see, you know, the usual ones, you see like the blue key, the um, clock guy, I can never remember his name and I'm, I can just see like her handing over Aquarius's key as well, um, she probably doesn't have the other Zodiac key she's given him out at some point um, but yeah, basically she's about, like giving over Aquarius's key, it's just, I don't know something about that um, just has a nice little feeling to it it kind of feels like yeah that's a nice little way to end the series um, Kenichi they did the same type of thing you know if Kenichi they're writing his book and then you see the picture showing that he actually did end up marrying Mew stuff like that you know it's like it's a nice sweet way to end the series it's like hell Naruto even had that type of ending you know whereas they're talking to Boruto ah, nice little endings like that you know it just kind of shows passing it on to the next generation which you know fairy tale is all about you know the next generation joining you know becoming making fairy tale what it needs to be um, so yeah, final note is we end up going back to the battlefields only to find that everyone's retreated to regroup. It's pretty frustrating that the battles weren't actually shown. Um, but I guess, you know, it, there would have pretty much been a lot of scenes just basically showing the Spriggans overpowering the main contenders um, on each front. We did get a little bit of Kage's reaction to her defeat. Um, she was utterly embarrassed to the point where she ended up being, I said, at the fact that she was ended up being stripped um, and then everyone's there ogling her. She just feels like so disgusting and everything I'm guessing you know the worst part about her defeat is not actually being stripped but just the fact that she has no idea what that type of magic was that was being used against her little things like that but finally um, the worst battlefront had to be the top four against God Serena they were utterly destroyed you know I was expecting them to be defeated but not that badly or quickly you know all of them were taken out um, but from the looks of the way they reacted um, the, way, the, look, the way they reacted it kind of made it seem like you know God Serena has actually become a lot more powerful during his time in Al in Alvarez. It's like, the guys seem like, yeah, he's strong, but the four of us together should be able to hold our own against him, you know? But, damn, they got utterly taken out. It's like, hell, it looked like Woodrot, it looks like he's ended up being killed, but, I don't know, you don't really see too many people getting killed in fairy tale, so, not too sure what's, what's happened with him. Maybe it's just literally to the point of he's about to die, so he's in a proper critical situation. But, yeah, it looks like Luxus is going to have his work cut out for him, because, let's face it, it's either Luxus or a Jalau even at this point who seems like they're going to be the one to fight him and take him down. Um, actually, speaking of that, I would really like to see Jalau take on August, you know, go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, um, it's going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, two mages with master pretty much every element going up against each other. 
something about that actually does seem really right and it will kind of fully fully redeem Jalal's character you know he at one point tried to destroy uh, destroy Ishgar and fairy tale now he's coming back to help them all out it'll be nice to see that type of thing you know but overall I'd have to say this chat was just alright you know I just found it really disappointing that they skipped over the fights but I kind of can see what they was doing with it but it did just kind of feel a bit cheated you know it's like they spent so much time with Lucy and everyone else and then when it came to the actual battles now it's like eh skip over them they're not important you know so it's probably going to end up being you know the usual thing of fairy tale coming in to save the day on all fronts taking out everyone so a little bit cliche I would have really liked to see more of the others but hell don't know what's going to happen maybe they'll go back in and have their rematches who knows so yeah um, that about ends it for me for this chapter guys you know you should think to the end of these let me know what you thought about the chapter in the comment section below and as usual, don't forget to check out our things on the channel. So I'll see you next time.